So I, hi, first of all, because this is probably the first clip you're seeing because hello, this is the first time you're vlogging, Ashley, can you just open it up with something? But, um, hashtag sucky intro. Um, I just did a video on, um, like my goals and things for this channel for this coming up year. And now I am sitting down and I think I'm going to use this planner. It's a Heidi Swap planner. It's super cute, but you guys, I did not use this hardly at all last year. I think I used it for like two months straight. And then I just, it just wasn't working for me, but I think that I just need to stop like over decorating in a lot of planners and I just need to jot down and use it however I use it and stop trying to make everything over stickered. Um, so this is just going to be like a scratch, like scribble planner. And I think it's going to work a lot better for me that way. So I'm going to use it, um, to, and I'll show it to you guys because me doing it from this angle is not going to show. Maybe I'll just try. Let's see. I can't see what you're seeing. So hopefully you're seeing it right. But if you see like it has this big box and then it has like a box with some lines, I'm going to use this for the ones that I upload for that day. Like the ones that I've scheduled out are uploaded. And then these are the ones I'm going to put where, what I have filmed for the day. So this is what comes out and this is what I have filmed. And then, um, in some spot, I don't know, um, whichever one I don't use the most will be like the things that I've scheduled out and what day they're scheduled on. So I'll be able to write that in. So anyway, YouTuber life, it's really hard for me to keep up with everything. And my family planner, the way I do it with stickers and everything, it's just not big enough to write all of the family things and YouTube things and Etsy things and all of the things. So yes, I'm going to have to divide it up into a different planner, but I think I'm going to do that and that's going to make my life easier. And then I also need to do one for a homeschool planner. And this is the one I tried to use for a homeschool planner um, in 2019. And it just did not work for me. So I don't know. I have a big happy planner that I never used. And it's undated. And I kind of feel like I might try that one for a while. Just because it has a lot of writing space. And it's going to be a scribble planner as well for sure. And so I might do that. I don't know. But yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to plan out things. This is the last day of the year. And, um, you know, there's a lot going on. But this is the last day of the year. Joshua is actually off on New Year's, which is so crazy to me. But they're closed. And I don't think he's ever worked for a car dealership that was closed on New Year's. I don't remember him ever doing that. So I'm going to do that. There's a lot of personal goals that I have for myself. So I'm going to start writing those down in a minute. Um... And I'm going to share those with you. And then there's a lot of family goals that we have as well. And me and Joshua are going to have a meeting tomorrow. Um, I've asked him to write it down. We'll see how he does, like, writing the stuff down and planning it all out. Um, I will, of course, have a long list and paper and pins and decorated and all of the things ready for our meeting. But I don't know what he'll have. He might just say that it's in his brain and be annoying and guyish and not be, like, I want it to be super serious because I want us to take it seriously. So I feel like the more like um, structured that we make it, the more we'll stick to it. And that's my that's my plan. Like that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I'm going to um, write down some things that I want for our family. Um, some are small things. Like just to give you a little example, I want to... Um, I mean, what, what am I saying? I want to, um, have a chore list for the boys, um, because I normally don't, they don't have like a structured chore list at all. And I want to do that. And there's a lot of homeschool goals that he's probably not going to care about. He's like, are you teaching our children correctly? Okay. That's what I want to know. But, um, yeah. So anyway, the chore thing is definitely one of them. Um, their sleep schedule, like Killian getting him to sleep they go to bed we put them to bed at the same time every single night we have a routine for them but it doesn't work and so we've got to figure that out and um, today I have just figured out and this is funny but it's not at the same time so I just found out for sure I've suspected it for quite some time but I have just figured out for sure that Killian has been sleep eating so he has been sleepwalking into the kitchen at night and eating what 
And it's not that he's not getting a full belly at dinner because he will have ate very well at dinner and he's sleepwalking at night and eating and he doesn't remember it the next day. So you might be asking, why the heck are you just not realizing this? And it is because um, usually it's very hard to get Killian to go to sleep at night. He sleeps super late. Um, we try to get them to go to bed at 830 and then um, I hear a lark. They're in there playing with him while I was doing this video, but I can hear him and I, oh, they're clapping for him. So they're happy. Oh, they're saying good job. Um, <laughs> Tristan's praising him for something. He probably walked a little bit or stood up for a long time. Tristan's really good about good job. Um, <laughs> you are just so good. Um, but anyway, oh my gosh, my back, you guys. I have been kicked by a four-year-old all night long and my back is killing me. Plus, I think our mattress literally sucks and it probably came from like the pit of hell. It's awful. <laughs> this mattress is awful and it was not cheap. It is like a pillow top mattress that is literally crap. It's horrible. It just sinks and it's, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I am tangenting like crazy. But my point is, is that I didn't know that he was sleep eating because he usually takes so long for me to get him to go to sleep because he refuses to sleep anywhere except for right up under us. He has he has nightmares. I'm not even sure if they're not night terrors. Um, I don't know why. I've talked to his doctor about it. Like, he doesn't watch anything he's not supposed to watch. Um, he doesn't play video games or anything that have, like, violence in them. He does not. I mean, I am very, very careful and strict on what my kids, like, what they see. You know what I mean? I'm very careful about it. Um, I know that for a little while we were having issues with Jaren bringing things to them that were they were not supposed to watch, but I don't think that that's an issue anymore. I've been like really careful to watch that really closely when he's here. Look at this new growth. Like that's why it sticks up like that, driving me bonkers. Um, but anyway, um, I don't think that that's an issue anymore. I could be wrong, but I really don't think so. I'm really careful to be very vigilant. Um, on watching them very closely whenever they're, you know, watching anything or having their like electronic time at all. I'm very careful in what they watch and what they do. So I don't think that's the issue. I just don't know what it is. He's just scared. Like he is scared. And I was like that as a child. Um, I don't know if Joshua was like that as a child or not, but I was for sure. I was terrified. I was an only child until I was seven and I was literally terrified at night, every single night of my life. Like just terrified terrified someone was going to come get me terrified of the dark and things I couldn't see just terrified all the time and that's how he is he is like that and so I know what that feels like and I never want him to feel like that ever in his life because it is a horrifying feeling it makes me want to cry emotional today what is my deal um you can come you can come baby um you did a good job big brother um, and so I know what that feels like and I never want him to have that feeling ever. And so I am lenient on things, which I don't I'm see so anything wrong with. Why? Because he <gasps> kicked up. Okay. So anyway, he usually falls asleep in our bed and we take him back to his bed because we put him to bed, tuck him in, read him a story, a bath time, you know, all of the things and tuck him into his bed. But he continuously like comes back and forth and we're like, go back to bed. We put him back to bed. Here he comes again. And so eventually he will just lay down on our bed and literally two minutes in, he's asleep. Uh-oh. Alert skinny aggravated with them for some reason it's probably killing him no what's wrong booger and so anyway i'm never gonna finish this story but my point is is that i try really hard to help him not be afraid and so um he usually falls asleep sometimes in our bed and we put him back in his bed or i will go lay with him until he falls asleep in his own bed and then he still wakes up he wakes up fifty thousand times if you put him in his own bed he wakes up again comes back in here so that is the issue but lately we have been watching tv yeah yeah 
at night in the yeah. living room instead of in our bed. No, no, you can't go off the side. And so because of that, he has been passing out next to us on the couch. Shh, hey, be quiet for just a minute. And so we've been putting him back in his own bed then. Tristan has never given me problems going to sleep. Literally since he was a lark's age, and a lark does this too. A lark will come to me and say, night night, and he wants to go to sleep. And if I put him to sleep, he goes to sleep. Like when he's ready for night night, he tells me night night, he's ready to go to bed. And that's exactly what Tristan used to do. Tristan would say, night night. And I would say, you wanna go night night? And he would say, yes. He said S, S. And I would say, okay. And I, I would just be like, uh, okay, because it would be really early, and he would just be ready for it. Or his nap, like, night-night. You want to go night-night? S. And I would put him to bed, and there he goes. And that's how a lark is for the most part. He has a little bit of Killian sprinkled in there. But that's how he is, and um, Killian's just not that way. So, um... He has, and I've been talking for 11 minutes and still have not finished the story, but he, oh yeah, let's not get those out. I saw the wrench on the table. Oh, okay. And so, um, we've been watching TV in the living room and because of that, he's been falling asleep in there and I've been waking up to things like weird things and it's not anything out of the ordinary that I don't usually wake up to sometimes this happens but I was thinking that while he was in the middle of walking back and forth back and forth to our room and we were in our room and he was like coming back and forth that he was sneaking in the kitchen and eating snacks or or things no apparently not so when he has been passed out we put him in the bed and he sleeps for hours at a time and so like he'll wake up at like midnight one o'clock in the morning something like that he's been asleep all that time okay then i was waking up i woke up and found tristan's stocking candy and some of his too like wrappers a trail of wrappers all in the kitchen on the floor i was like what in the heck is going on he ate candy in the middle of the night then I woke up to chips and bits of chips with like Doritos with like one bite eaten out of it and then them on the floor and then the bag of Doritos just sitting there on the floor in the kitchen. I woke up to that one morning. Then I woke up, okay, okay, you just can't crawl like that because I don't want you to fall. Then I woke up to um, uh, juice in the refrigerator with the cap off. And, like, some of the juice spilled out on the refrigerator, some of it spilled out on the floor, and then, like, a big puddle. It's like, what the heck? Then, today, I woke up, and he has been begging for Little Caesar's Pizza. It's his absolute favorite thing in the world for some strange reason. He says it's his favorite sauce. And so, we got Little Caesar's Pizza last night, and when we did... Could you please just stop? Let's play on the floor. Killian had like bites of pizza taking out for like four pieces of pizza. Yeah, so that's fun times. Um, four pieces of pizza with like pieces, chunks out of them I used to have on the counter. Like just weird. And so, um, hold on baby. And so, yeah, like he's been sleep eating. Have you been eating in the middle of the night? <laughs> I just that uh, I love pizza so much. I eat crumbs all over me. Good morning from a different view. I I'm so excited because but I feel you like put these scissors I don't know. Them. You did, baby. Um, I am so excited because I have a lot of changes already. It's like the second of January and I already have like a bunch of changes going on. So, um first of all, well it's it's kinda early. It's almost nine o'clock, but I've been up for quite some time and Alaric is like Oh my gosh, like he is beside himself. Like I can't do anything with him. He doesn't want to be held. He doesn't want to be put down. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to eat. Like I don't know what is going on with him, but holy schmoly, it is a mess. So he is laying down and he's protesting about it. He's not excited to lay down, but he woke up at seven and it's now nine. And I don't know if he just didn't get his sleep out because he didn't sleep well last night. 
or if I don't know what's going on with him, but he's just whoo. So he's in bed, and if he doesn't go to sleep within I don't know like the next 15 minutes or so, then um, I'll go in there and get him. But anyway, um, I am so excited because um, I have like a lot of <laughs> peeking in here. Um, I have a lot of changes already, and so. Oh, there's a sticker. You guys, my entire life is full of stickers. There's stickers behind my TV on the wall. Holy schmoly. Like, I didn't even know those were there. Oh, yeah. This is mine. Yeah. This mine. Are you sure? I think that's Tristan's. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so... Okay, okay, okay. And so... Um, I'm losing my train of thought because they're just craziness this morning um I moved my desk and my printer and my craft stuff I moved it back into my bedroom I've been thinking about it for a long time originally I moved it out of here and into there because Alaric was little and I felt like I couldn't keep an eye on all of them together um plus we were having some issues um <clears throat> with them being bullied and things like that and I just needed to like keep a closer eye on all of them together when they played um and so I moved my stuff out there so I would constantly be like in the middle of the house around them all the time and then when Alaric got a little bit older um and he wanted to be like around and doing things I felt like it was better for him to be around them and so um I wanted to be in the middle of everything. Now that Alaric is almost walking, he's trying to walk. And you guys, he has bruises all down the side of his face from yesterday. He was trying to stand up on the table, and he fell and hit his face on the leg of the table. So he's a bruiser, I can already tell you. Um, but anyways, now that he is trying to walk and things, I really don't like... He's constantly wanting to be like in the kitchen all the time, because that's where my um, craft stuff was, was like in the dining room space. Number one, it's way crowded, and it, I know that it looks odd for me to have my craft stuff in the dining room space, but that's where we do homeschooling, so that was another reason why I wanted it in there, um, because I could be in there doing craft stuff while they were working on schoolwork, but I feel like it's just too much. It's like a brain overload, and I feel like when I'm trying to be creative in that space, I can't, because it's in the middle of the house. I can always hear like their TV, or their playing, their toys going off, and the living room TV. And, and everything's going on. Everything is so crazy. Like, it's all on top of me, and I can't focus. And so it's like there's nowhere to shut it out. You know what I mean? Like, it's the middle of the house, and everybody's eating in there. And so my craft stuff was right by the table, and there was, like, food and, and paper and washi all mixed together on the floor. And I was having to constantly clean it up, and it was just, like, a big mishmash, mishmash, mis, mishmash of like just craziness all the time and I feel like it was just too much like I was starting to have like panic attacks I've had like three of them and if you've never had like a legitimate panic attack you literally feel like you're dying and it's just hey stop that before you hurt someone stop it now and so thank you and so um I feel like it's that's why like it's just too much it's like overload um it was also harder for me to film in there because it's the middle of the house so what are they supposed to do be silent yeah right girlfriend that ain't gonna happen and so i would have to wait until alark was asleep and then they would have to go in their room and play santa claus my book I, the, the book is not for santa claus baby the book is for you to look at i'm going like, to read about santa well hold on just a minute and we'll talk about it and so um, anyway, it was hard for me to film in there because it was never quiet and I can't film when Joshua is home because it's right beside the living room and the living room is loud because he's always watching TV or playing the Wii and it's loud and everybody's in the living room with him jumping all over him and being crazy because they're happy daddy's home and then I can't film while, while he's, home. no baby, not right now, he's not. And so anyway, I can't, I can't film when he's home either and so it just got to be like too much like too much and um with this new thing i'm about to tell you and i'm gonna do an entire video on it so you'll probably see this after the video that i'm doing on it but i'm gonna have to film a lot more and so that means that i'm gonna have to space 
my filming time and be careful of where I film and how much I film and what I film at what time and all of that um, because this is just not going to work. So after getting all my feedback, and I'll, I'll say this in a video so it's going to sound redundant, but you already have heard that I'm going to have another channel. And so um, I just feel like that is the absolute best thing to do. I'm really excited about it actually, but that means I'm going to have to have a buttload more content which is the goal, you know, that's what I want to do, but there's just too many things bouncing around in my head and there's too many types and genres of, oh, I feel like I can't swallow, of um, videos that I want to put out and I just don't feel like they mesh well together, if that makes sense. And so you guys have already heard in that video that I'm going to have two channels, so I'm super excited about that. I'm about to set up the second channel here in just a little bit. Um, I am setting up this crafting space so that it doesn't look like a complete eyesore. It's probably going to look like an eyesore at some point in time, just like it did in there. But you know what? That's just that's the way it is. Creativity comes with a price, and the price is messy. So what am I supposed to do? But I have planner videos to, to film today. I have the announcement video for my One, second channel today. Two. I have um, a word on the weekend to film today, and I'm going to vlog today, so I have lots and lots of stuff to do. I also need to clean, clean, clean my house and do all the laundry because I am actually, and I'll be filming this as well, but tomorrow I am going to decorate for a baby shower at my church, and so I'm going to film some of that and let you guys kind of see the process and what it looks like, like once it's done. Um, I love doing it. I think it's so much fun. It does take a lot of work. I'm usually there between um, like six to eight hours. Um, and I know we have some shopping to do in the morning before we even go there. So, yeah. But this sweet and precious lady that I absolutely adore at our church offered to come and watch my children for me while I decorate. She was like, I'm not really, I can't really help you decorate. I'm not really good at that, but I can help you and just watch your babies. And I was like, I mean, just, it makes me want to cry because generosity and compassion and thoughtfulness like that you just don't, it's hard to come, and I'm about to cry, like, what is wrong with me? Um, it's hard to come by, and so I feel like, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's happening. So, anyway, I have, like, a lot of videos that I want to film today. I have to, like, get ready, because I don't want to look like this in every video, and a lot of them are going to be, like, face-to-face -face videos, uh, two of them I know of. So I've got to do that, and I've just got lots of stuff to do, and Alaric is in the worst mood, and I need him to be in the best mood today because Mama has so much to do, <laughs> and Mama has to have quiet to do some of it and get it done, but anyway, it just is what it is. I'm not going to have the best lighting in these videos because this lighting is horrible. Two light bulbs are out in here, and I need to replace them. I need to get, like, some umbrella lighting, um, which is something that I'm looking into. You are so adorable. But um, it's nasty and rainy and gray outside, so the natural lighting isn't helping me either. But anyway, I am going to go get started. I also have to finish this lovely thing right here that I am absolutely in love with. Oh my gosh, I really love this one, you guys. I'm so tempted to keep it for myself because it's kind of, it's a tea theme slash Alice in Wonderland theme. It's like a mixture of the two. Like, I love it. You guys know I'm a sucker for tea, and I'm a sucker for Alice, and, and this is just encompasses both of them, and it is, I love it so much. So, Alaric's still crying and protesting in there, so I think I'm going to have to go get him and hope that he calms down. I don't know what's going on with him. I just don't. He's had his breakfast. He's had his juice. He has his toys. Like, I even set up his whole toy thing in here so that he can just play with Mama, um, and he's just not having it. He just, but he doesn't want me to hold him either. Like he's fussy when I'm holding him. So I'm just not sure like what's going on with you, buddy. But anyway, got last two. We'll see how much of it I get accomplished. Okay guys, so I have now filmed two other videos since I talked to you last. And I feel like my nose is runny. Um, I think Alaric is up from his nap. I think, I kind of wish he wasn't. And Killian's whining about something random. Yeah, he's awake. He's calling Dada. He always calls Dada after his nap. What are you doing? Whining? 
There's no reason to whine, silly boy. You need to be cleaning your horribly disgusting room. Hey. Who is this? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. So I have done those videos. Um, I have done a video for my new channel. And this is going to be on the new channel as well. I have, um, I got a little bit better off dressed and ready. My hair is still wet, which my hair was wet in both videos, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I finished my junk journal. So now I need to do a junk journal flip through. I have some planner videos that I need to do, but this little booger is awake now. Aren't you? Are you awake? That's Jaren's shirt, you silly boy. It's not going to fit you. Got to put your shirt on, not Jaren's shirt. So I'm going to see if he will play. I've got to figure out something for us for lunch, which I have no idea what I'm going to make. I have absolutely no clue. But I'm going to see about that. And then, um, yeah, so it's yucky outside. Um, I know a lot of people love the rain, so I don't know why I just assume to everyone it's yucky. But to me, it's kind of ugly outside. It's just really gray and bleh. And that was actually the word on the weekend um, topic that I used. Um, this video might possibly be out before then. So um, I think this video will probably be out on Friday when the word on the weekend might be out Saturday or Sunday. Um, so it was about like just the winter blues. And like depression issues that you can have in the winter time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mmm. Sugars. Um. Were you hugging me? Were you giving me a hug? My hand is shaking now because I'm tired of holding the camera like this. But um. Yeah. So I really need to finish cleaning up the kitchen and everything since we moved my craft stuff out of here. Now it feels echoey and it feels huge. I don't know. Like everything is out. So um, I need to clean off the, the um, table from breakfast this morning. And I need to clean up some homeschool stuff that and artsy stuff that they have on the table. And I washed the dishes last night, but I need to really scrub the counter and the stove. Okay, we'll cough. And then I need to figure out what we're making for lunch. So I will update you after I do all of those things and figure it out. It's coughing in this neck. Oh my gosh. Is that good? Say mmm. Say mmm. Is that good? Is that good? Mmm. Is that good? Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Say yummy. <coughs> yummy to my tummy. <coughs> yummy to my <coughs> tummy. Is it yummy? Yes, it is. What? Yes, it is. Say yum. Yum. How come you never talk when I want you to? Huh? <coughs> How come you never talk when I want to do? <laughs> Say, mmm. <laughs> Say, mama. Can you say mama? Who's this? Huh? Don't ignore me. Who's this? Who's that? Mama. Mama. Yes. <laughs> You say it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mama. Say mama. You can tell me no. You can tell me no. <clears throat> you drew on me like a Saint Bernard. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so he's eating one of those like soft peppermints and I like to give them to him, number one, because he absolutely loves them. And number two, it helps his gums for a minute and he's like biting on it. And it like disintegrates in his mouth, so I'm trying not to give him too many because they're not sugar free, I don't think. And so they're sugary. And he doesn't need that, but he does love them very much, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good, huh? I give him like a bit of one, like not a whole one, just like a little bit. 
New York City. She will love it. I know, how many more? It's gone gone. It's gone gone. <laughs> you smile, think. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps doing that fake underbite thing. I think it's because his like um he's like teething his bottom teeth or his like uh molars his little molar back there. And um yeah. I don't know. So I tried to do a plan with me. That was actually what I was doing. I'm in the middle of that and this little guy came in here wanted to play with me. He wanted to play with mama. So I stopped the video. I'm going to try to go back to it in a minute, but my phone is going dead. And that's no good because I film on my phone, if you didn't know. I really should get a vlogging camera. It needs to happen, but I do film on my phone for now. And these guys are in here in this messy room playing. Here you go. I mean, it's better, but it's still messy. Ugh, so messy. And it's messy in here, too. So I need to clean up the living room. I need to clean up this area, like around the couch. If you haven't seen my living room, it's like, I don't know, I'll show it to you. But um, I desperately need to vacuum. And then there's just stuff like strewn, like a book, a book, a pin, a piece of a toy, the rug that people have turned upside down and put in the wrong spot on the floor. There's like cotton from a pillow that they've destroyed. And I'm just, I'm not feeling it today. Um, I haven't been feeling well. I've been feeling kind of weak and dizzy feeling. I don't know why. Um, and I've gotten like a lot accomplished accomplished as far as like, um, I finished a junk journal. I sewed in the um, signatures in another junk journal. I just have to finish the front cover. And I need to film the flip through of that, but I need to get to cleaning because my house is not dirty, but it is messy and it will be dirty if I don't clean it up. And so I don't really want to do that, but I kind of need to because like I said, it's just, I can see it getting worse tomorrow. I definitely need to clean today because tomorrow I have to go all day with my mom she's gonna come and pick us up so i am going to vlog she's going to pick us up and um so that we can go decorate the church i don't know if she's gonna help me decorate or if she'll just go home or what but then joshua is going to come and pick us up when he gets off work and get jaren because our church is in the same town as our as jaren they live in like the same city and so his house is like, I don't know, like five, seven minutes down the road from our church. And so, um, it's an hour away from here. And so, um, yeah. So while we're there, we're going to get Jaren cause it's our weekend. And that's why I chose to decorate tomorrow instead of decorating on Saturday. Something is in my eyeball. It's like driving me bonkers and I don't know what it is. It's I used to have like this weird thing, um, like insecurity about my eyes because they're huge and they really are big. I mean, they're rather large blue eyes. They really are. Um, and some people give me compliments and tell me they're beautiful, but other people are like, her eyes are like really big. And when I was in high school, I had this crush on this boy. I always had crushes on like the bad skater boy kind of thing, like the punk rocker skater boy types. And that's what he was, you know, grungy punk rocker, looked like he hadn't showered in weeks. Not really, but maybe a week. I don't know. I always had like a thing for those skater boys. And um, I had a crush on him. And someone asked him like, do you like that Ashley girl? And he was like, she's pretty, but ooh, her eyes are just too big. <laughs> and so then I always had like this complex about, well, dang, I guess my eyes are really huge. And blah 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 and they're always wide open and I always like I don't feel like I just walk around like this but I mean I have wide eyes and I make a lot of facial expressions so it makes them even wider but um anyways I always think about that when I'm like seeing if something's in my eye normal people's eyes are like 
something's in my eye and they're wide open eyes and I'm like, bam. But anyway, tangent. So I have to go all day tomorrow. It's going to take us all day because I need to go to Hobby Lobby and buy some flower stems for the church that are white and I want to do pops of red because for her shower, I am doing a winter forest theme. And that's usually always what I do is some variation of a forest because that is my absolute favorite. I think decorating in some kind of floral greenery forest theme is the prettiest because hello, it's nature and nature is beautiful on its own. And it's very simplistic. Like you don't have to do a lot to make it beautiful. Um, so I went and cut down some branches from my dad's like um, trees that he had gotten rid of. And he had this big old burn pile. And I cut down some branches from those trees in his burn pile. Yeah, I did. I was like doing it with this like hacksaw thing. I don't know. It was pretty cool. Um, I've done it twice. The first time I was with like this machete thing. And I felt so like B.A. about it. <laughs> Because I was out there and I was getting all cut up and my arms were all scraped and everything and I was chopping them all down. But anyway, I did that and I used those in vases. Like I cut them down into the length that I wanted and I used them in vases. And I'll show you guys because I'm going to vlog it tomorrow. But I need to make sure that my phone is charged so that I can have the camera and that I bring a charger just in case. But anyway, I'm going to do that and then... um what else? What else do I have to do tomorrow? Then we'll be picking up Jaren, so I'll have Jaren this weekend, um, which is no big deal. It's just like normal. And then um, Sunday, Sunday he'll go back home because he starts school next week, and then we'll start homeschooling full throttle next week. So anyway, we've got a lot going on. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. But then the, the next week, I have another baby shower that I have been asked to decorate for. And um, a member in our church, her granddaughter is having a baby girl. So I've never decorated for a girl shower before. So I'm going to be doing that. And then next month, I have a wedding shower to plan. So it's starting to get that time again where I get super busy. I feel like I didn't have showers for a few months and now I'm starting to pick back up again and be super busy. Joshua was like, basically, you're going to be like covered up now again. And I was like, yeah, for some reason that bothers him. I don't know why because he's at work all day. But, um, oh my goodness, it's pouring rain, it sounds like. So, yeah, icky, icky. So I'm going to get busy. I'll probably film some of it and I need to charge my phone. So I'm going to try to do that and I'm going to film a little bit of me just cleaning up and then we'll see what else we can get into. This vlog is going to go up on this new brand new channel, um, tomorrow and the channel news for creative chaos introducing this channel is going to go up a few minutes later so that this video will already be up so if you are new if you are new or if you are coming over to this channel from that channel thank you so so much i haven't even mentioned that like i've just been talking like normal like it's vlogmas or something it's just another day if you are brand new Thank you so much for stopping by and popping in. Um, this is our crazy family. I'm going to do an introductory video to this channel as well, so you'll see that. But if you're coming over from that channel, I really appreciate that too because I just am um, excited. I'm excited about cool things that I plan on putting up that I kind of didn't do. I feel like some of my videos were kind of squashed because I felt like they just didn't go on that channel and I didn't have room enough for all of the videos I wanted to do. So I'm going to show you this. So bad news. This here is boxes and cardboard all from like Christmas and all kinds of stuff that I had cleaned out. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but see how the wind is blowing and it's like puddles and rivers over there. But it, um, look at that. Look at that flood. Yucky. I can't, no, I don't know where my finger is. <laughs> that flood right there in the ditch, that's really annoying. But, um, anyway. No, you can't go out there, you silly, silly boy. It's really cold. Um, 
at least the handle on the screen door feels freezing, but it's really nasty. Like it's been this way. I love the rain when it's, hey, no, 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 no. I love the rain when it's like time to sleep. You hear him saying no, no. Um, when it's time to sleep or when it is time to cuddle up and watch movies all day or when it's time to like read a good book or something. But I hate the rain when I have to get out in it and it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. But that is a sad day for that cardboard because people pick it up once a month. So we're going to have to like contain that and put it in something else. And look, the poor UPS guy. Poor, poor UPS guy. They work really hard. Be sweet to your mail carriers and your US, UPS people because they have to work super hard. I know that during the holidays they were working until like 9 o'clock at night delivering packages here. That is, you know, they've probably been working since the wee hours of the morning and have to put in really big days. So just make sure you're sweet to them.